Well, again, everybody is hot as the brutal heat wave continues to bake the Miami Valley. Yeah, we've been talking about this all week, and the temperature spike also comes at a bad time. Many people are still without power from Monday's destructive storms. AES Ohio is reporting nearly 1,100 customers that are still without power, with a vast majority of outages in Champaign and Logan counties. Duke Energy also still has thousands without power, including hundreds of people in Butler and Warren counties. Two News reporter Allison Gens is live for us in Champaign County, one of the areas hardest hit by those outages. Yeah, John Brook Triad Middle School in North Lewisburg is acting as a cooling shelter for those still without power. And right now, a potluck is going on here in the cafeteria. Those with power in the community prepared meals, brought them in to share with those who are being impacted by the outage. Another day of sweltering temperatures and another day with no power for many people and businesses in the village of North Lewisburg. I don't think it would have been so bad if it wasn't so hot. To give people a place to go, the village opened up two cooling shelters. The village of, of North Lewisburg was really on top of this quickly and uh, they had a request for assistance into us early on. One of those shelters is in the fire hall at the municipal building, the other in Triad Middle School's cafeteria. We have these big buildings that are sitting here with our kids all gone and so um, it's it's great to have a place that we can bring in that does have air and electric that they could charge phones and things like that. Toiletries, towels, food and water are just a few of the things donated to these shelters to provide some relief from the heat. The American Red Cross also lending a hand so people could stay overnight. They did bring a trailer full of cots and uh, shelter materials up for them. We split those up between the two sites. Triad Local Schools Superintendent Vicki Hoffman says they've seen about 30 people in and out of the shelter since it opened Tuesday afternoon. We really appreciate it. It means a lot to us. We didn't really have a no place to go anywhere close. And Hoffman says the district does whatever it can to help the community when they're in need, and they'll be here with this cooling shelter until the power is back on. We'll be here as long as we need to be. Now, the potluck will go on until 7 p.m., about an hour left, and anyone is welcome to attend, even those who do have power. Live in North Lewisburg, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.